Yo, what is happening everybody, Magnification? Today I'm here guys with Ruby, chapters 15 and 16 uh, of volume 1. It's the end of volume 1. Um, I'm very excited. A little bit after this video releases, I'm probably gonna do a premiere like I have been doing with the other videos. If you're watching this in the premiere, shout out to you. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm, I'm doing a premiere. As soon as the premiere is done, I'm releasing, I don't know if I'm gonna just release it or if I'm gonna do a premiere for that as well, but anyways, I'm releasing the reaction to the soundtrack, the full soundtrack of volume one. That should be really hype. Um, I hope you guys are excited for that as well, other than, of course, this video. <clears throat> anyways, let's go straight into um, chapter 15. The chapter is called The Stray. What? The Stray? No idea what that means, but okay. Anyways, this should be really interesting. Um, I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm not sure how this this uh, first volume will end. Usually in stories, we have some sort of final conflict in every season, um, leading up to the the next season. So they usually do a little bit of a cliffhanger, which I expect. Ruby to do as well in the last episode, but I guess in this episode right here, uh, we may start that, or maybe not. Maybe the the you know the big thing was the whole thing there with Winchester Carney, his name actually I think right Winchester Carney Winchester or something. I'm not sure, but yeah, the whole thing there with him and Jean, and also of course Jean being a badass and killing that bear, uh, taking its head off. Of course he had the help of Pira. With that, but that was really fucking hype, a hype moment, the first big genre moment, I would say. Um, other than, of course, him being a leader in Chapter 8, which was really cool. But yeah, you know, maybe that was already the big moment of the season, and we were gonna just slow down right here. Um, and do a little bit of a cliffhanger for the next season, for the next volume. Like I said, you know, I guess I should just stop theorizing and just watch it already you know <laughs> all of my questions regarding the end of the volume will be answered as soon as i watch it so yeah let's just do this all right everyone chapter 15 let's do this this will be the day we open up the top soon enough we're gonna be done with this op and we're gonna have a new one i'm gonna miss this one this is a really good one uh Hopefully the second one is just as good. I don't doubt it is. This show is just really good when it comes to music. Um, by the way, guys, I know that there's a, a post credit scene in the last episode of the volume, so... You know, don't worry about that, I'm gonna watch that for sure. The Vital Festival! Oh, this is absolutely wonderful! I don't think I've ever seen you smile this much, White. <laughs> weirding me out. <laughs> not smile. A festival dedicated to the cultures of the world. Okay, so everyone else from other kingdoms are coming here. Nice. Will fucking Tartaric attack or something? Wow. Again, why we're spending our Friday afternoon visiting the stupid docks? Oh, they smell like fish. I've heard that students visiting from Vacua will be arriving by ship today. Oh, okay. As a representative of Beacon, I feel as though it is my solemn duty to welcome them to this fine kingdom. Of course, of she course, wise. On them, so she'll have the upper hand in the tournament. <laughs> I can't prove that. Whoa. Wait, what? What is this? Huh, some silver shit happening, huh? What happened here? Robbery, second dust shot to be hit this week. This place is turning into a jungle. Tar trick? That's terrible. He was the one robbing the, the stars. Uh -huh. Yeah, it just doesn't make a lick of sense. Who needs that much dust? I don't know. An army? I'm thinking the uh <laughs> white fang? Yeah, I'm thinking we don't get paid enough. Hmm. <laughs> the white fang. What an awful bunch of degenerates. What's your problem? My problem? I simply don't care for the criminally insane. The White Fang is hardly a bunch of psychopaths. They're a collection of misguided faunus. Misguided? Oh! Humanity off the face of the planet. 
So then they're very misguided. Interesting. Either way, it doesn't explain why they would rob a dust shop in the middle of downtown Vale. Hmm. Yep. Blake's got a point. Besides, the police never caught that Coachwick guy I ran into a few months ago. Maybe it was him. That Maybe. That doesn't change the fact that the White Fang are a bunch of scum. Those wow. only know how to lie, cheat, and steal. That's not necessarily true. Hey, stop that spotting! Oh, okay. Huh. Thanks for the ride, guys. Is he a member of the Y Fang? You no good stowaway. Hey, a no good stowaway would have been caught. I'm a great stowaway. <laughs> of course. Hey, get down from there this instant. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Okay. Interesting guy. N <laughs> okay. Well, wife, you wanted to see the competition, and there it goes. Quick, we have to observe him. Blake definitely wants to observe him. <laughs> Who's this? No, he got away. Uh, Weiss. <sighs> Another faunus. Patience. Um, hello. Are you okay? I'm wonderful. Thank you for asking. Okay. Do you want to get up? <laughs> Penny, okay. Hi, Penny. I'm Ruby. I'm Weiss. Blake, are you sure you didn't hit your head? <laughs> oh, I'm Yang. It's a pleasure to meet you. Wow, well, Yang. Already said that. Are you serious? So I did. Well, sorry for running into Okay, this girl is weird. Care, but is she a fucking robot or something? Well, wait up. Let me see here. Let me go back. I thought she was a faunus, but because I thought this was like, um, you know. Is in her head were her ears, but I think this is just a bow, right? I know a lot of people get confused with um, Blake, think she's a cat girl or something when that's actually just a bow. Um, but yeah, this girl is interesting. Is she a fucking cyborg or something? You know what I mean? Like a a robot? Because she's the way she speaks is very artificial. Um, I don't know. That is interesting. Penny is her name. She but I'll keep her in mind. Weird. <laughs> now, where did that faunus riffraff run off to? What did you call me? Oh, I'm really sorry. I definitely didn't think you heard me. No, not you. You. What? I, I, I don't know. I, what I, um, uh, you called me friend. Am I really your friend? Um. What the heck? <laughs> yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Sensational. We can paint our nails and try on clothes and talk about cute boys. Oh, is this what it was like when you met me? No, she seems far more coordinated. <laughs> so, what are you doing in Vale? Well, I'm here to fight in the tournament. Wait, you're fighting in the tournament? I'm combat ready. Forget okay. Me, but you hardly look the part, says the girl wearing a dress. <laughs> it's a combat skirt. Yeah. <laughs> well, <a> minute. nice. <laughs> nice. If you're here for the tournament, does that mean you know that monkey-tailed skirt squad right yeah. here? The filthy fawn is from the boat. Why do you keep saying that? Huh? Stop calling him a rapscallion. Stop calling him a degenerate. He's a person. Oh. I'm sorry. Would you like me to stop referring to the trash can as a trash can or this lamppost? As wow. A stop it. Stop what? He clearly broke the law. Give him time. He'll probably join up with those other faunus in the white thing. Ugh, you ignorant little brat. <gasps> okay. How dare you talk to me like that? I'm your teammate. You are a 
judgmental little girl. What in the world makes you say that? Uh, I think we should probably go. <laughs> Makes you just as much of a scoundrel as you believe him to be. So you admit it. The white thing is just a radical group of terrorists. That's not what I meant, and you know it. I don't understand why this is causing such a problem. That is the problem. Wow, they're you still discussing. Defending an organization that hates humanity, don't you? The fawners of the white thing are pure evil. There's no such thing as pure evil. Why do you think they hate humanity so much? It's because of people like Cardin, people like you, that forced the White Fang to take such drastic measures. Huh. People like me? You're discriminatory! I'm a victim! You want to know why I despise the White Fang? Why I don't particularly trust the Fawners? Hmm. It's because they've been at war with my family for years. Oh. War as an actual bloodshed. My grandfather's company has had a target painted across its back for as long as I can remember. And ever since I was a child, I've watched family friends disappear. Why is it happening though? There's a reason. The entire train car full of dust, stolen. And every day, my father would come home furious. And that made for a very difficult childhood. despise the white thing it's because they're a bunch of liars thieves and murderers well maybe we were just tired of being pushed around wait what <gasps> what we I... we she's a member of the white thing or she's a faunus what i was just talking about how she's not a faunus i'm confused Yeah, there's always another side to the story, right? Um. Wait, what? What the fuck? <laughs> I knew you would look better without the bow. Holy shit! What the fuck? Okay. What a coincidence. What a fucking coincidence. Cause I was just talking about how she's not a fan as in like people think um she has cat ears when it's just her bow. Oh. No, it's actually cat ears. What? Been gone all weekend. Okay. Girl, I'm sure she can handle herself. Why she come on? She's one of our teammates. You guys fooled me good, okay? We Let me tell you. She said. Like maybe she is and maybe she isn't. Either way, she's missing, and we need to find her. A member of the White Fang, right underneath our noses. Let me just hope she's okay. <laughs> so, you want to know more about me? Oh shit, okay, so is... Okay, we're done with this chapter. You want to know more about me? Yes, I want to know more about you. So we're going to get that in the next chapter, I assume. Nice. Fucking nice. Because we already kind of know a little bit about each character. But we don't really know much about um, Blake, right? She's the one that we know the least of from all of them. In this episode, we got a little bit more on why she is... We know that she's from this rich family. Shini family, um, which are the owners of the Schnee company that produces dust. The largest producer of dust in the world, I think. So it makes sense that the White Fang would attack this place. Um, I mean, this company, you know, would target them because they are rich as fuck. And, you know, they rather steal from a rich as fuck company than from normal, normal people, you know. Um, so it was good that we got like both sides, you know what I mean? At first, of course, we didn't get much about the white thing, yeah, but we get, you know, why saying that, you know, how that made her a childhood very difficult, all the problems that uh, the white thing caused by attacking um, the Shinyi company by targeting them, and 
I'm sure we probably have more to it, you know? Like, maybe they do this for a specific reason, other than just because it's a big company. I don't know. I, I wasn't expecting that twist. It was really fucking good, okay? Let me tell you guys. I saw a comment once. I think the Flaming Shark, uh, he was saying how, like, um, how Blake has cat ears. And someone in the comments corrected him, saying, well, actually... She doesn't have cat ears, that's just her bow. So from that point on, I was thinking, okay, you know, I read that comment, I was like, okay, so that's just a bow. What the heck, you guys fooled me? You guys fucking fooled me. <laughs> Goddamn. That, that review was really fucking good. What is the Y thing? Excited to see more, I mean, to hear more about them. And hopefully we're gonna get that in this next chapter, which will be the last of volume one. I'm excited. We have also this girl here, Penny. She's weird. What the fuck is she? Looks kind of like a robot. You know, maybe she's also a faunus. Now that I know that, um, you know, um, fucking Blake was hiding that those cat ears somehow. I don't know, like, how the fuck she did it, but, you know, the fact you are a uh, faunus can be hidden. Guys, let's get straight into the next one. Chapter 15. I mean, chapter 16, actually. I think I said 15. Um, but yeah, chapter 16 will start in 3, 2, 1, now. This will be the day we up and up to da. Um, but yeah, the reason why... Funny! The boy... Um... Fauna's boy. When he winked to Blake, he knew already that Blake was a Fauna's. That's interesting. I think he knew, right? And she knew as well. It wasn't because she was interested in him. Maybe a little bit because of that. But nearly two days, and you're giving me nothing but small talk and weird looks. Huh? Yeah, like that. <laughs> Son, are you familiar with the Sun? Of course. I don't think there's a Fauna's on the planet who hasn't heard of them. Stupid holier than thou creeps that use force to get whatever they want. Bunch of freaks if you ask me. Damn. I was once a member of the White Fang. <laughs> Wait a minute, you were a member of the White Fang? <laughs> That's right. I was a member for most of my life, actually. You could almost say I was born into it. Oh. Back then, things were different. In the ashes of war, the White Fang was meant to be a symbol of peace and unity between humans and the Faunus. Huh, okay. Despite being promised equality, the Faunus were subjected to discrimination and hate. Humanity still thought of us as lesser beings. And so, the White Fang of course, us of course. the force of our people. And I was there. I was at the front of every rally. I took part in every boycott. And I actually thought we were making a difference. But I was just a youthful optimist. Then, five years ago, our leader stepped down. And a new one took his place. A new leader with a new way of thinking. Suddenly, our peaceful protests were being replaced with organized attacks. Mm. Shops that refused to serve us. Interesting. Companies that used Fauna's labor. And the worst part was, it was working. We were being treated like equals. But not out of respect. Out of fear. Huh. Who's this leader? So, I left. This new leader. I decided I no longer wanted to use my skills to aid in their violence. And instead, I would dedicate my life to becoming a huntress. So here I am, a criminal hiding in plain view, <laughs> all with the help of a little black bow. Wow. <laughs> so, have you told your friends any of this? Blake! 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 Where are you? Blake! <laughs> They're not helping! Oh, you know who might be able to help? The police! <sighs> wow. Wow, wise. Wow, I think we should hear her side of the story before we jump to any conclusions. Yeah. I think when we hear it, you'll all realize I was right. And I think Weiss's hair looks wonderful today. Yeah, Penny, where did you come from? <laughs> what are you up to? Uh, we're looking for our friend Blake. Oh, you mean the Faunus girl. Wait, how did you know that? Uh, the cat ears? What cat ears? She wears a bow. <laughs> Wow, wow. <laughs> so, <laughs> we don't know. She's been missing since Friday. That's terrible. Well, 
Don't you worry, Ruby, my friend. I won't rest until we find your key. Okay. Oh, that's really nice of you, Penny. Uh, but we're, we're okay. Really? <laughs> right, babe? <laughs> <laughs> well. It sure is windy today. So, what's the plan now? I still don't believe the white thing is behind these robberies. They've never needed that much dust before. Hmm. What if they did? I mean, the only way to prove that they didn't do it is to go to the place where they would most likely go to if they were to do it and not find them there. Right? The only thing is, I have no idea where that would be. Hmm, okay. Well, while I was on the ship, I heard some guys talking about offloading a huge shipment of dust coming in from Atlas. How huge? Huge. Big shimmy company freighter. Oh. For sure. Okay. So anyways, this is hopeless. You really don't care if we find her, do you? Don't be stupid. Of course I do. I'm just afraid of what she'll say when we find her. The innocent never run, Yang. So, Flake is your friend? <sighs> yes, Penny. But you're mad at her? Yes. Well, I'm not. Weiss is. Is she friends with Flake? <laughs> well, that's kind of up in the air right now. <laughs> Why? Well, you see, Flake might not be who we thought she was. Is she a man? <laughs> no, Penny. I don't well. know what she is. She didn't exactly talk to us before she decided to run off. I don't have a lot of friends. But if I did, I would want them to talk to me about things. Me too. Hmm, okay. Guys, let me tell you, um, okay, she's ready to fucking spy on them, I guess, see if the, the white thing will show up, but yeah, this is really interesting, what we are having the in this um, last two chapters, we are having a lot of stuff that I wasn't expecting us to have, first off, this whole thing here with Blake, now the, the white thing and all of that, I wasn't expecting that, but I'm really enjoying it, so yeah. I'm gonna talk more about that at the end of this um chapter. Not really. They've offloaded all the crates from the boat. Now they're just sitting there. Cool. I stole you some food. Do you always break the law without a second thought? <laughs> hey, weren't you in a cult or something? Wow. Okay, see you soon. What? What? What is this? Yes, what? Okay. All right, grab the tow cable. You really didn't think they were behind it, did you? No, I think deep down I knew. I just didn't want to be right. Hey, what's the hold up? <laughs> not exactly a conspicuous bunch of thieves at the moment. So, why don't you animals try to pick up the pace? This isn't right. The white thing would never work with a human, especially not one like that. Huh, hey, what are you doing? What the fuck? What, wow, Blake? Okay, interesting. Oh, you this isn't a leash? What the? Oh, <laughs> nobody knew. Nice. Nice. Whoa, take it easy there, little lady. Brothers of the White Fang, why are you eating this scum? Huh. Didn't you get the memo? What are you talking about? The White Fang and I are going in on a joint business venture together. Tell me what it is, or I'll put an end to your little operation. <laughs> I wouldn't exactly call it a little operation. <gasps> Whoa! Okay, okay. Two more. <gasps> Fuck. What the heck? Oh yeah, his weapon. <laughs> we only got to see it in in fucking um chapter one. Okay, nice. This dude's gonna help. Leave her alone. Okay. You are not the 
Nice banana in a bunch, are you, kid? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay, that's cool. Wait up, his name is Sun. Is he Sun Wukong? <laughs> Since he has the fucking um bad thing. Oh, whoa! Okay, what the fuck? That's that's fucking cool. Damn. <laughs> Okay. Hey. Ruby's here, nice. Oh, hello, Red. Isn't it past your bedtime? <laughs> Ruby, are these people your friends? Penny, get back. Damn. <laughs> Penny's mad. Hey. Penny's mad. What? <laughs> yes! Yes, okay! So I was right, she's a fucking robot! <laughs> okay, that is fucking cool! That is fucking- That what happened? <laughs> Fuck! What the heck? <laughs> What? <gasps> what the f God damn! All right, she's fucking cool, Penny. God damn. Okay, okay. Bro, what is she doing? How is she doing that? Yeah, you better get the fuck out of here, Tartrick, my boy. <laughs> wow, yeah, you better just get the fuck out. Alright. Let me check how far into the chapter we are at. Almost done. Look, Lace, it's not what you think. She explained the whole thing. You see, she doesn't actually wear a bow. She has pretty ears, and they're actually kind of cute. <laughs> I want you to know that I'm no longer associated with the White Fang. Back when I was with up. Do you have any idea of how long we've been searching for you? Twelve hours. That means I've had twelve hours to think about this. And every <laughs> twelve hours, okay. I decided... I don't care. Oh. You don't care? You said you're not one of them anymore, right? No, I, I haven't been since I was <laughs> younger. I don't care. <laughs> I want to know is that the next time something this big comes up, you'll come to your teammates and not some someone else. <laughs> come on, wise. Of course. Okay, that was that was cool. Um. Yeah, Team Ruby is back together. <laughs> yep. I'm still not quite sure how I feel about you. <laughs> Wait a minute. Where's Penny? You should know better than to go running around in a strange city. I know, sir. <gasps> what? Penny, your time will come. What? Who's that? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, okay. That was a message from Crow. All right, we're done with volume one. Okay, god damn, what the fuck? This show, I was thinking, what the hell can they do in two chapters to finish off the, you know, the volume with a little bit of a conflict? They did it, okay. It was good. I liked it. Nice song right here.
But yeah, you, you definitely can see that Wise, even though she changed her mind, you know, about um, fucking Blake, she's still discriminating, you know what I mean? When talking about Sun, uh, when talking about Sun, she's like, I'm still not sure how I feel about this. You know, she was about to say like some bad word right there. Bro, I like this. I fucking like this. I gotta go back and check that message, because I wasn't paying attention there. What Crow said to uh, Aspen. But man. Um. Penny. Is she gonna. Um, wait up, I'm gonna talk about that in a second. Let me just see the post credit uh, scene real quick. Star Trek. How very disappointing, Roman. Whoa! <laughs> Wasn't expecting to see you guys so soon. <laughs> we were expecting more from you. Oh, we finally get to see her <laughs> face. You suggested working with those stupid mutts from the White Fang. <laughs> and you will continue to do so. We have big plans for you, Roman. All we ask is a little cooperation. Okay, interesting. So Roman, fucking Dartrick, he's actually working for, like, maybe not even working for these guys right here. Maybe he's just being, you know, maybe he doesn't even want to do what he's doing here, helping this trio at the end here. Maybe they're making him do it. I don't know. What the heck? Uh, they're working with the wife thing. Blake said, the White Fang doesn't work with humans at all. Why are they doing it this time? This is interesting. I, To be honest with you, I don't even know. I don't even have a theory or anything for why this is happening. Um, I can say this was really fucking good. This is all I can say. Um, Alright guys, so um, let me go back to that scene like I said. Check out what uh, they were talking about with... Oh, Queen has pawns. What? message queen has pawns what what does that mean what i love how they're making crow very mysterious we don't know like anything about him uh we don't see his face here or anything um or any information about him yeah basically what he said is queen has pawns no idea what the fuck that means you know oh wait up does that mean i Queen, whoever this queen is, is a faunus? Has pawns? Huh, maybe? Okay, but anyways. Um, alright. Uh, da 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 da. Like I said, I like this end of this volume. It wasn't what I was expecting it um to be but it had what i expected to have which is a little bit of a confrontation you know a conflict um so the why thing the, all of this here was really good them um are working with torchwick for some reason and they were trying to steal um a lot of dust it wasn't a small operation like blake said it was a big fucking operation we had a bunch of different airplanes right there you know, to collect the dust, we had a big shipment of dust, apparently. Really big one from the Shinhee, um company. But yeah, that was really cool. I like Sun so far, guys. We haven't really seen a lot from him. But I like what I saw when he was fighting. It was really cool. Um, his weapon, of course. Over the top, like every weapon in uh, this show. Not as much as others, but still. Really cool uh, weapon. 
The MVP though was fucking Penny. Penny was fucking amazing right there. What the heck? That was really fucking cool. Her attacks, goddamn, that was so fucking hype. And someone took her uh, at the end in a car and took her away. Right? I love her personality. She's very simple. Um, Penny, of course, because she's not a human, right? God damn, she's. I feel bad for her because she made a friend in Ruby and everyone else, but she had to go now. Was uh what she was talking about, um, participating in the tournament? Was that true? If it was, she is gonna be in the tournament, which will happen in the next uh volume, I guess, in the maybe the very beginning of the next volume. Um, but yeah. That all of that was really good, um, with her. Interesting, mysterious. You know what I mean? Like, what the heck? Who created her? Um, and all that shit. And like, um, <sighs> Team Ruby at the end. You know what I mean? Team Ruby at the end. They were okay again. I think <laughs> you know, like, Wise and um, Blake are okay now. <laughs> um and man I'm just really loving them all of them um but yeah we have this woman at the end that we saw last time she was working with fucking Archwood her name is Cinder Cinder what the heck I have no idea what the fuck I have big plans for you Roman hmm who the hell is she I don't know uh, guys, I think I'm just gonna finish this off to be honest with you. I'm excited for the next volume. Uh, I hope you guys are as well. Make sure to check out the channel next week for the reactions to volume 2. Uh, that should be really cool. Also, if you are interested in my reactions to the full OST of volume 1, um, stick around in the channel. I'm gonna release the video in a second the next video as soon as this premiere ends uh i'm gonna release if you're watching this in the future when the premiere is already over and shit you know just ignore what i'm saying but if you're watching this while the premiere is happening um make sure to go watch the next video that i'm gonna upload in a second okay which will be the the ost the reaction to the ost if you're interested in that like i said anyways guys i'm gonna finish the video off i hope you guys enjoyed it like i said uh, if you did, hit the thumbs up, comment on what you thought, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I will see you all next time. Thanks a lot for watching, peace.